Hi, everybody. It's Dina Sanchez with Mountain Habitat in Breckenridge, Colorado. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take a walking tour down Main Street, point out all the different restaurant options that there are in our lovely downtown corridor. Let's go. So we are on the north end of Main Street in downtown Breckenridge. And this particular block has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we've got Daylight Donuts. They've been around forever. They make their own donuts. They are very well known for quick, easy breakfast. And the menu is quite limited. It's nothing fancy, but you are gonna get a good hearty breakfast. Then of course, if you want Subway, just a you know sandwich shop, you can always run into Subway. We don't have a lot of franchises in the downtown corridor like McDonald's or any of those fast food places. We have really independently owned operations, restaurants, I should say. But if you are craving Subway, there's a Subway on the north end of town. And then Blue River Bistro. Blue River Bistro is a great place to go for lunch or dinner. They've got great cocktails and wonderful appetizers. And usually on Friday, Saturday nights, they'll have somebody playing some music like a guitarist just to kind of have a lively spirit, I should say. The menu consists of everything you can think of from salmon to Italian dishes to steak if you want. And of course, you know, a hamburger during lunch or a nice turkey wrap, great salads also. It is Sunday afternoon and you can see there's still a lot of action right after the new year. Highside Brewery just opened up not too long ago on the corner of Watson Avenue and Main Street. You have Fo Real, which is a pho soup restaurant that's more like a to-go place where you can build your own bowl and then get out real quick or they have a few tables to eat. Another cute little coffee shop is in this historic building here. Simplest Cafe. And they have lunch. They've got, of course, coffee and breakfast. And then they also make these really cool mini donuts, which are really delicious. But another great coffee shop. Now, over here, Rootstock is one of my favorite restaurants. It is so delicious. Just kind of fine dining, anything from steak, chicken to fish and then maybe a pasta dish, some really nice salads, but this is a really nice restaurant to go to. Also in the summertime, they put tables outside and you can have uh, food outside if you want. Okay, so the Canteen Restaurant is on the north end of Main Street, and this is just your classic American comfort food. Come here, great bar, great cocktails and beer, and you're gonna get yourself a nice juicy sandwich, hamburger, fried chicken steak, you, you name it. They've got all the comfort food you can think of. Now, we're approaching the Carlin Restaurant, which is a brand new restaurant in one of our oldest buildings in town. This, I'm really looking forward to going in here and doing a full-on interview because they brought this place back to life and they have an underground bar. They have a beautiful restaurant, five-star eating, a lot of fish, and the people who own Orum are the owners of this restaurant. And then up on the third floor, they have some beautiful 
hotel, like a boutique hotel up there. And I think there's maybe four to six rooms available. So here we are at the Breckenridge Tap House. This is a great place to get a microbrew and have some really yummy tacos. Place that you can either eat inside and as the weather permits, you can eat outside in the back. Has great views of the ski area also and wonderful afternoon sunshine. Now, Bangkok Happy Bowl Thai restaurant. This is another great restaurant offering some variety in different types of food. They have sushi and then they have Thai and it gives you just an option if you're kind of over hamburgers and steak and that sort of thing. So nice Thai food. They've got a great bowl. The Thai laksa bowl is delicious and you can get it all types of heat if you want it mild, slightly spicy or really, really spicy. Now this building, that houses the Gold Pan Saloon, which Breckenridge is known for the Gold Pan Saloon. It is the oldest, longest standing bar. From what I understand, they've had a liquor license here since the mid 1800s. It was recently sold about maybe five years ago and they took the restaurant out and added the Carboy Winery. And that's kind of fun for half the restaurant you can go in and check out their different wines that they have, um, that they make. They have lots of great appetizers and small plates, I would say. And then of course you can go into the original Gold Pan Saloon where that's your typical bar and they're gonna have some live entertainment in the evenings where you'll spend some time. And you can get some food there too. Again, more like hamburgers and hot dogs and things like that and breakfast. So across the street, we have another Asian Thai inspired bistro. There's Higgles ice cream. And then of course, on the other side of this building, in the same building is Gian Petro's Pizzeria, which has been around for probably 25, 30 years. And it is a local's favorite. Here we have the Mother Loaded Tavern. And again, this is in an historic building. Uh, Mother Loaded Tavern is a little bit more like American cuisine. Would you say a little bit of a New Orleans kind of flair to it? It has something for everybody and is family friendly. A little bit of seating in the backside when the weather is permitting and it's a great place to bring the family. Now, ice cream and gelato, of course, are always a favorite. And here in Breckenridge, even in the winter time today, is kind of cold but this is a great place to get some homemade ice cream and i did forget to mention that higgles ice cream is homemade right here in silverthorne so at the ice cream and gelato store here on main street this place they make their own waffles and so they have ice cream gelato they've got pastries and they're open pretty much all day into the evening a very popular spot. Eric's Restaurant and Columbine Cafe. Columbine Cafe is great for breakfast. It's usually a wait in the morning to get in there as there aren't many breakfast places. So we're standing in front of Eric's Restaurant and over by the Columbine Cafe. Eric's Restaurant is known for pizza and an arcade. It is so popular with the young kids because there's a whole room of great fun games that they can play, pinball and all the fun arcade games. But then the restaurant is again, pizza, chicken, hamburgers, nice sandwiches. And it's just been a favorite for a lot of people for many, many years. Columbine Cafe 
is a great place to go for breakfast. And do be prepared that both of these spaces, if they don't take reservations, that you're going to be waiting. There usually is a wait list. The Horseshoe Restaurant. This used to be the Modus Restaurant, and they closed down, and the Horseshoe, which was the original name of the restaurant, just reopened. It has a Southwest Mexican type menu, and their elk enchiladas are so amazing. They are really good. They're also considering themselves a tequila bar. So you've got some great tequila uh, cocktail options, along with a full bar, wine, and beer also offering brunch which is great because we definitely need more breakfast places in Breckenridge. This is another favorite coffee place, hot chocolate, ice cream, uh, fresh made pastries, and then breakfast and lunch options. They do seating limited mainly to go. You will encounter lines because it is such a popular place but it is well worth the wait. This is Rootstock, the my favorite restaurant. They opened up an Italian restaurant and it has great seating up above. And in the summertime, it's a great place to be because the Blue River just runs along right over here and it's just a nice space to be outside. Italian inspired menu. And again, it's sure to please. This is more of a fine dining experience. And when I say fine dining, the food might be elegant, but you don't have to dress elegant. We're a ski resort and people come, they feel very comfortable. We've got a lot of snow, so there's no need to get dressed up and have to wear a suit. If you want to, great. Oh, also the Breck Distillery, they have a tasting room over here. And this is a nice place if you want to taste some of their bourbon, their gin, and their vodka. You can pick up a bottle and if you want, after tasting some of the, the new bourbons that they have made. We'll do, they actually have a restaurant down on Airport Road, and we will do a video on that another day. We are at the Blue River Plaza, right in the center of town. This is a great spot just to have the family hang out or anybody hang out. You can sit along the Blue River if you want, but it, this is just a, a nice little square in town. Right next to the square, you do have the Welcome Center. So if you want to pick up like a restaurant guide, you can do that. We are approaching the Crown Coffee and Bar Lounge. They've got lunch, they've got coffee drinks, they've got breakfast, they have cocktails, they have wine. This is an all-day affair place. They've got great a green chili soup, and again, they have outside seating in the back, which is lovely on a really nice sunny day. Beautiful. You got the sunshine, you got views of the mountains. It's a great place to go. And they've got great hot chocolate, which is also, and cinnamon rolls, too. Now, of course, every town has a Starbucks, and here is ours. And like I said, we just don't really have that many franchises. So this is the only coffee shop franchise that you will see. And here we have the Whiskey Star Smokehouse, and we've got some really brave people sitting outside <laughs> um, by the fire having cocktails. And this is more of a smokehouse type of restaurant. Well, here we go. Here's the menu. They've got meat platters, turkey, meatloaf. They've got barbecue, brisket. They've got mac and cheese. All the typical smokehouse type of food. And then across the way here, we have Rita's Taco Bar, which is downstairs. And then we've got the Kenosha Steakhouse. Kenosha Steakhouse has a great deck on the back side. It's big, and again, it just is a great place to hang out in the afternoons. But here's another typical smokehouse, steakhouse, barbecue joint. If you've watched any videos on Breckenridge at all, they always have a shot of the crepe cart with the line being so long. Today, there really isn't a line, and it is Sunday afternoon, 
Um, but there are lots of people out there. But the crepe cart is well known for just their all different types of crepes, dessert and then savory. Blue Stag Saloon coming up, another favorite, just kind of American bistro bar. All about typical restaurant that caters to family. You've got hamburgers, chicken, salmon, the Swiss Haven restaurant right here. Been in Breckenridge for a very long time. This is a place where you're gonna get cheese fondue primarily with a couple other options. On the other side of the building is Cool River Cafe. And that's on the back side in the lower level. Cool River Cafe, they do all their own baking, breakfast, lunch, and booze. And they close pretty early. But here's their outdoor seating. And then it's just a great spot. Um, their food is really delicious. Then you've got Ollie's in the dredge boat. And that's also a longtime favorite. Great views of the ski area right there, too. This is a new restaurant, Molly Jack's. It's a sports bar. I haven't been in it, but I'm sure that it has, you know, your typical sports bar. Over here, we've got Luigi's Pizzeria. And then down over here next to it is a little French bistro and bakery. So as you can see, Breckenridge has no shortage of food options. Over to the west is Mikasa Restaurant, a Mexican restaurant that's been in town for many, many years and at least 30 years. It just changed ownership, but it is, they kept the names, I believe. Not if we're entering Main Street Station. This is where they hold a lot of art festivals and the farmer's market. And it is a nice yard with shopping. But you have Bold Restaurant, which is more Mediterranean flair, Greek inspired, but of course, a lot of traditional American food also. Continental Divide Winery Tasting Room, which is kind of a fun place to go and go and taste some of their wine. All their wine is made in the Fair Play area. You have Quandry Grill straight ahead, and that is American cuisine. And then there's a coffee shop over around the corner. Bold is great. Also, you can see that there's some seating outside, and it's a fun place to go and just sit outside in the morning. They've got heaters in the fall and in the early spring or early summer. You can sit outside also. So you have the Breckenridge Brewery, which has all their own beer and then also a full menu. Again, American cuisine. You've got the Blue Moose Breakfast Restaurant. That is extremely popular. And be prepared in the height of the season, especially in the summertime, to wait like an hour to get a table, but it's well worth it. And then we have La Cima Mall, which has the Broken Compass Brewery. We've got Burke and Riley's, an Irish pub. You've got Sancho's Tacos. You've got Empire Burger. You've got Peak of Asia. You've got a pizzeria. You have an ice cream shop. You've got South Ridge Seafood Grill. You have no shortage of food in this mall right here. This is the south end of Main Street. And there's more, just a few more restaurants. But again, there's no shortage of food in Breckenridge. And over here to the left is Lolo Juice um, Company. They offer smoothies, fresh juices, salads, and wraps. So we are on the south side of town. In this little courtyard over here, there is an Italian restaurant, Michael's Italian, uh, that you can get a nice meal. And then coming up, we have Flipside Burger. Flipside offers burgers, shakes, beer, full bar. Their burgers are quite tasty. Their french fries are really good. 
So on, on the right is Ember. That's kind of an eclectic fine dining restaurant that has kind of a, a unique menu inspired by the chef owner of the restaurant. If you're looking for some really nice Mexican food, traditional Fiesta Jalisco is a favorite. Back here in the courtyard and has been around for quite a while. If you need a quick chocolate fix, Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory is right here in the corner. They make all their own chocolate. Mountain View Coffee Bar, another place to go and hang out. And then coming up here, really easy to miss, is that I've heard nothing but great things about Mimo. And they're closed today on Sunday. But Fancy Tapas right here, again, have heard great things about this restaurant. Now we're approaching Mountaintop Cookie Shop in the Hot Chocolate Shop. This cookie place has been operating for many years and they're known for their homemade cookies and their cookie sandwiches. So here we are standing on uh, Lincoln Street and across from the Salt Creek Saloon, there's also Mom's Cafe uh, Bakery. And then this bright pink building is the Briar Rose, which is a fine dining, very lovely atmosphere, and just a really nice place for an elegant dinner. We're gonna quickly walk up to Ridge Street. There's still so much to show you. Okay, so we are on Ridge Street right now. And Ridge Street, if you wanna get off of Main Street, is not as busy, but the restaurants are still gonna be crowded. So you've got Fatty's Restaurant. You've got the Tin Plate Pizzeria, which is delicious. You've got Hearthstone Restaurant, which again, Victorian home that has beautiful menu. Then you've got Bird and Cow, that's kind of a chicken hamburger joint. Actually, the hamburgers are really, really good. On the next block, you have Orem Restaurant and Twist. I highly recommend Orem and Twist. They are great. Again, more elegant with kind of a fun spirit cocktail bar kind of scene with a beautiful dining room. Twist has a really great outdoor space in the summertime too. And that's a nice treat. Well, and there you have it. Here is our restaurant tour. Well, I don't know about you, but I am really hungry right now walking by all these restaurants. And I hope you enjoyed this long tour down Main Street, showing you all the different food options that we have. If you're new to our channel, please hit subscribe if you liked what you saw. If you've got questions about anything in Breckenridge and the real estate market, please let me know. I'd be happy to get in touch with you. And I want to say thank you and enjoy this beautiful view of Breckenridge Mountain behind us. Take care and have yourself an awesome day. I just want to say thank you and we look forward to helping you find your way home.